If you're looking for a home, you already know it. Home prices here in Southern California have been skyrocketing. The median price for a home has gone up nearly $200,000 in just the past year as buyers drive home prices ever higher. So how can you compete for a home in today's market? NBC Force Tony Shin may have some answers. If you're trying to buy a home but haven't won the bidding wars because so many people are fighting for it too, you are not alone. In fact, Inland Empire economist John Husing says it's not going to get any easier anytime soon. The demand is very strong. The supply is not there. And as a consequence, prices are being bid up. Husing says there are many factors as to why there is such a huge demand for single family homes in Southern California. Part of it involves millennials who are now getting married and having kids. The millennials are now looking to own houses uh, and that's driving a lot of demand. The demand is so high, buyers are willing to bid well over the seller's price. Realtor Martha Robles says one client recently bid more than $100,000 over asking price for a home in Wildemar. It's a really tough competition out there, but I really do want buyers to know that you can still get a home in this market. Robles says make sure to get a good, experienced agent who knows how to negotiate. And if you're not in a rush to move in right away, you could always buy a home that hasn't been built yet. For the buyers that can wait, it's another option, definitely. But just know that you're going to run into that um, you know, extended time frame as well there. This one, because um, it has a next-gen suite. And That's exactly what Christine Alshire is doing. She's on a waiting list to buy a brand new home near Menifee. It could take more than six months before it's built, but Christine says it'll be perfect when it's done. This is what works for us because I like the lot, the location. Um, it has pretty much everything my husband and I are looking for. We want the RV parking. We like the bigger lots. Tony Shin, NBC4 News.